from everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody else on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Orzhov midrange. This is our fourth War of the Spark deck uh, tonight. And we got a, a bunch of new Planeswalkers here. So basically we're playing a black-white deck um, that's kind of built around our new mythic Gideon Blackblade. This card looks like it's just really, really, very, very, really, very, really strong. I don't know where I was really going with that. I just kind of messed up my, the words that I was saying and then just tried to make up for it and just, you know, fell flat on my face there. But getting the train back on the tracks, this Gideon is good. And we have a lot of cards that we want to be attacking with here with Adanto Vanguard, Gideon, History of Benalia, Dreadhorde Invasion. These cards aren't really playing defense very well. They have like even Midnight Reaper. Like these are cards that we want to play on like empty battlefields and smash with them. Like they, these cards are all about attacking. So against like control decks and stuff, I feel pretty good with these kind of cards because I think that, that those are like the threats that you, you want against control. But we may get kind of ran over by other aggro decks. So we're going to need some lifelink, and that's what Soren can do. Soren can give us some lifelink there by giving all of our creatures during our turn lifelink. And it can also uh, minus to bring back cards like Tithe Taker, Adanto Vanguard, and Midnight Reaper. And I guess just those cards. But main thing is it can give us lifelink. We have Othakaya, <clears throat> which looks to be a really strong card. We just played it some with the Five Color Reborn deck that... Um, gets to come down deal three damage to any target you know like we can even go upstairs uh, against control decks with this and gain some life and so i got more of those in the sideboard i think that's just like a card that i want against like mono red in particular um and we have some other so, so that's kind of like what we got so uh, liliana here is is to help out against like soul tie or like decks that um you know like real mid-rangey decks like that's what we got these lilianas in for i think Maybe mono white could be a, kind of a bad matchup for us. Like if we get behind, we're gonna struggle against them going wide. Um, but I like, I think I like our mono red matchup with all these oath of Kaya's. Um, but I think mono white is gonna be a, a matchup I'm gonna be a little worried about. But let's give it a try. Orzov mid range. So. Uh, because of Gruel Midrange going 7-1 and one earlier, that took Gruel Midrange took us a large way through Platinum. So we are three wins away from being Mythic now. So hopefully we can get there and not go backwards. But you never know, maybe we'll go backwards. I don't think we want Nova in the sideboard. I could see playing Settle the Wreckage. Even though Settle's kind of easy to play against. But Settle could be an option that's like good against Sultai and stuff too. So it'll be interesting having this Dreadhorde. I kind of hope that they're a control deck. Dreadhorde's a lot better against control. I don't really I don't want this to be Sultai. Okay, good. It's not Sultai. Ooh. Still not really a control deck. The deck editor to show mana art. Are you talking about like the different lands? Ah, poor Soren. All right, no more lands for us. Okay, yeah, it it doesn't. There's just no. It doesn't show the different lands. You have to manually input the different lands. It's kind of a pain. All right, well, I liked our three cards that we kept, but drawing the lands in a row was not part of the plan. Uh, I happen to f 
couple months ago with some update. Um, so you have to, in order to get the lands that you want, you need to like look up what their their the art number is. You know, like the card number. You know, like card number two forty five or or whatever. You know, you have to find out the card. You have to find the card number and then like manually input a list with that card number. Um, I have a link here for all of the old lands that you can see that helps you input them, but this does not have War of the Spark lands added to it. Cool, thanks for the Tyrant. So glad our opponent stuck on lands over there with them having no I say with them having so many cards in hand. Yeah, we're trying with our, like, couple cards we've played. We're just... I don't think we're winning this. Definitely I was hoping they were the control deck whenever they had the, the black, or the blue-black land. Not the hero precinct one, make, make chump blockers, Thief of Sandy, take your cards deck. I don't really know why I didn't play Midnight Reaper first. Honestly, I was looking at that that link for the number of like the basic land art link. I was just put in chat. My bad. Definitely should have played the Midnight Reaper first. Could have drawn a card with this tight taker here. Yeah, maybe they won't kill the tight taker. Okay. So it didn't matter. <laughs> Y'all are good. So it didn't matter. And wow. Opponent doesn't even try to attack with the Thief of Sandy and see if I have anything. Oh, the Kaya looks great here against all their creatures. <clears throat> we didn't have any, af any afterlife tokens. We had a Dreadhorde invasion token. Am I supposed to just have all this removal in? Do I just turn into like a control deck? Cut like a Danto Vanguard, Dreadhorde invasion. The Johnny Adversary Tyrants. I 
I don't like having like no twos. This is just way too many threes. Nineteen threes. That's ridiculous. Yeah, this is probably a bad config configuration. Hmm. Surprisingly, everything costs three mana in my hand. I couldn't see that coming. What is Vraska for that can't be done by Mortify? Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Plus, <clears throat> any other sideboard Planeswalkers they have that are from, like, the new set. If they're playing their own Gideon Blackblade or anything like that. Well, I liked our hand. I still liked our hand. Hmm. <clears throat> but remember last game where we had lots of lands? Not so much this game. And of course I got rid of the Mortify, now I can't draw a land and kill this Dawnbringer. That was smart. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. All right, back on their aggressive. Game three. Get these aggressive two drops back in. All right, <clears throat> back being aggressive here. <laughs> yeah, that girl mid-range deck is mean. Hey, KZ, doing really good. New cards are a lot of fun, most definitely. We got Lance here, we don't really have, I mean, we have our not very aggressive two drop when we wanted to be aggressive. Hopefully we draw Gideon. I'd really like to draw Gideon here. Our opponent's on five cards, though, so, I mean, obviously, I'd... I'm not complaining about our hand when our opponent's on five.
I walk a righteous path. I believe in you. My bad. Share in my light. We'll see if that two <clears throat> life I didn't get matters. Lend you my strength. You, you can't give lifelink to Vivi to Gideon. It's up to one other target creature, so you can target another creature. So we would have been able to minus six Gideon that next turn if if they would have like played stuff. So we were going to be able to exile any permanent, uh, not a non-land permanent with Gideon like that next turn also. So we're going to be able to have like that to do plus you know whatever card we had in our hand. Yes, yes. Yeah, so Johnny can make Gideon a five five. <laughs> White Weenie is not going to destroy the metagame. It's an, it's an easy deck to, to make and build day one. No, Johnny's plus one, plus one counter. Stay on Gideon. You can grow Gideon. Who's alive? Cool. Mobilized District had some cheering in the background. Nice. So <clears throat> Gideon can give, well, could have gave Seraph lifelink. Agent time. Gideon Jura, at your service. Huh, interesting. Didn't even use the firebrand. Attack Gideon. Wow, that's some cool Gideon art though. That that full art Gideon art there.
All right, we get these. Get this in, get this in, get those in, get Othokaya's in. I mean, Adato Vanguard, Gideon's Cool, and Dread Horde Invasion, not so good. We got some. We can play duresses though, to help us out of playing of keeping the curve a little lower. We got mortify for. Frenzy. We haven't played Soren so f we haven't played Soren. We played against a, a Mardu Aristocrats deck uh, where Soren was killer. Now this is a curve. If this works out. If we draw one more land. This is a curve. Oh, war boss. So I was thinking chain whirler. I was like, well, I probably shouldn't play the, the tight taker here because of chain whirler. And I could just play the Duress instead. But they had War Boss for a 3 drop. Now I definitely wish I would have just had the Tithe Taker. Now some extra defense. So Night Token's likely getting stricken from the record. Yeah, this war boss is gonna kill me. Okay, we need to play that tight thicker on turn two. That was a mistake playing to rest. Yeah, good draw for the opponent. War this war boss just took over. I like our chance on the on the play, though. I like our chance a little better on the play here. And. We'll kind of see if we actually, you know, if like we get any of our removal also. <clears throat> it's a lot easier with Othakaya. All right, let's get two lands. Two lands, deck. You can do it. We got all these four drops. We need to draw two lands. Love it. Thank you, deck. One more land. One more land. Well, I guess now I'm going to cast down this thing. My plan was to play Othakai here, but with the Gilgate, it's a little messy. So I guess I'm just going to cast down it. 
If I would have cast down it on their end step, I still, like, you know, just play Guildgate and I don't do anything anyway, so. Kind of no harm, no foul. Don't really need to play Seraph of the Scales into that Lightning Strike. You know, if they're if they're just playing Firebrand Lightning Strike this turn, I'll just wait a turn. Though the Kaya counters that Lightning Strike. Hopefully we untap with Seraph here. Hopefully they just play like a Chain Whirler. No land, Chain Whirler, go. All right, that works. That doesn't kill Seraph. No. Oh, with the lava coil. That was worst possible. With the lava coil. So now I can't even bring it back even if they were going to lightning strike it. All right, well, this is bad for us now. We need creatures to go with, with Soren. No more lands deck. I know I asked for two more lands a while ago. We don't need any more, though. Strife makes monsters of us all. Vampirism is a useful trait. If only the Soren was a Johnny. I think there could be a good Aristocrats deck, like Mario Aristocrats. We played against one earlier, and it looked really strong. Uh, it, yeah, we played against it with the Grixis deck. We all make sacrifices. All right, Soren still did its job. Still gained six life for us. Not bad. For revenge. Yeah, that was my plan. Let them attack Soren if if they're gonna attack Soren and trigger oath. Soren just gained six life. Oh, it has it has life link itself. Oh right, it has life link itself. Ah, oh, so it was seven life. Can we draw another Soren here, please? Please, deck, just draw a spell. Come on, deck. Seven life confirmed. It looks like they flooded out like we did, but we that history is like certainly not game over whatsoever. Oh well, they were done. All right, 2-0, oh, Orzhov midrange. One win away from Mythic. Let's get this final boss playlist going. Yeah, one more win, we're Mythic. Okay. Yeah, play war spark is the new code, but it may not be working this minute. All right, getting a No, mulligan. Sweet. Keep.
We don't really have anything that costs more than four, and uh, we do have something that costs double black, so just don't really need to keep that planes. Could have like a lot of lands after that. I'm definitely glad we didn't keep that planes. Deck, that's enough enough lands. It's enough lands, deck. So if you remember whenever I Whenever we were talking about the deck a little while ago, I was I specifically said that we could be struggling against mono white. You know, like we're not good from behind. And so what do we get paired against? Obviously mono white. Of course. I march into battle as your champion of justice. Wow, Gideon really is our champion of justice. Gideon is a, the champion of justice. Just. Wow. Well, I guess we don't need our final boss playlist anymore. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Alright, we are now mythic. <laughs> yeah, you told me it would take me one, one week to get mythic. It took me like 10 days, but I didn't, you know, I didn't stream all those days or anything. And we didn't, we didn't play... We didn't play ranked all the time. Hey, thanks, Jelly. Hmm. We go first. Yeah, I think we'll draw a black source. We're 95% mythic now. Just swamp. Swamp. Wow. Hmm. All right, well, we definitely need to draw Swamp here. Okay, bad keep. I had like three draws to get. I had like three draws to get uh, my black source. Did not. And probably shouldn't have kept that. All right, so let's go cast down. Contempt, Mortify, Othakaya's. All right, turn into control deck. The set's really fun. Yeah. The set is really fun. Um, Deckmaster does not work. I think you're asking about Deckmaster. It does not work. Stream Decker works where you can find the deck list. Hmm. I don't need that much removal. The other Kai's and cast downs, that's enough.
How many plains and swamps do we have? Nine and six? No, okay. No, because we, we really only need like one swamp. There's like, you know, one double black card. But if you look at our planes, like we need a lot of white sources. You know, we need double we need double white on turn three every game between Gideon and History. White is more important for us than black with our mana base. Yeah, this is a good hand. Just Adanto Vanguard into Gideon Blackblade. Gideon giving Adanto Vanguard lifelink. Oh, hand got better. We just want to draw some lands now. Because our, <clears throat> our hand's good enough. We'd like to be able to double spell on turn six. Should I go History Benali first? I'm gonna go History Benali first and give me a little bit more defense for the Gideon Blackblade. So if I don't block, I take two. So I might as well just take four and get this gutter bones out of here. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let me lead the charge into darkness. Prepare for battle. Next turn, Soren giving my creatures lifelink. Be nice. I surrender. That is not nice. That is nice. <laughs> Together we can banish evil from this place. I believe in you, friend. Okay. Gain's just really good. All right, now on the draw, do I need more removal? Well, let's go. Yeah, we've definitely had some some struggles with our manas, but we've we're still in it, still doing just just fine. Come on, white land, not another swamp. Plains, plains, plains. Dang, that didn't work. Plains, plains. You gotta you gotta. Warm up the cards. Give me one of these planes. Gotta warm them up. No, not a planes. I'm glad we have nine planes and six swamps, because as you can see, like having the white man is really important. Oh, 
There it is. Dang, I thought it was there, for sure. For sure that time. Looks like our opponents have the same problem we have. One white source, two black. Not playing anything. Hmm. They'd rather destroy that than destroy the Dread Horde invasion. Ah, uh, that's why. Thraxel Wolf, welcome back. Fifth month in a row. Wow, that's all I needed. I needed that sub luck. Thank you so much, Thraxel Wolf. Got us that sub luck. And we got the planes then. After Wizard bring the hype. Get some more hype boats in here. There we go. History into history. Oh, Soren gives their creatures lifelink. Let me remind you to fear those born of darkness. They can return. Except that turning priest. Hmm. This is a prime day for justice. Your light will cleave the darkness. So they want to keep Soren alive, they got to block it. Two things. Right, get Soren out of here. Because Soren gives their creatures... Yeah, their creatures have lifelink, so Priest... No, Priest doesn't deal the damage. So it's not... Priest... No, it's it's each player loses two life. Okay, so Priest doesn't get li lifelink from that ability. That, that would have been cool. So we're taking up getting close to Gideon's minus six, not next turn, but the turn after, where we can exile something if we need to. <laughs> You're welcome, Gaz. Gaz. The Dreadhorde Invasion's been good for us so far. I really like it with Gideon being able to give it lifelink and with Soren giving it lifelink. You know, both... I, th I think it pairs really well with Gideon and Soren. What's this list? There you go, yeah. It's right above you. This is the Gideon deck. We had a donation to make a Gideon deck earlier. And this is what we made. We have donations to make a Sultai Vivian deck and a Jeskai Midrange as well. We're not going to be getting to the Jeskai Midrange today. Um, they're all going to be four power next turn. This is Orzov Midrange that we're on right now. So I guess for today we're only gonna have one other deck of Soul Five Vivian deck. You should fear those born of darkness. Embrace the bloodlust.
So they're just trying to figure out how to stay alive. I don't think that does it. Oh, My okay. Strength gave out. That can do it. Nope. Man, they tried so hard, and they got so far. All right, Orzhov midrange, a quick 4-0. We are moving up the mythic ranks now. We have not played against Grixis with this deck. So, like, our Grixis control, we were 1-6, and, and then we're like, you know what, let's just build really proactive, like, proactive midrange decks, and then, like, to start the format off. Oh, once we do that, we're now 11-1. In ranked after that, the seven and one four zero. A lot easier to make proactive mid range decks that are good on day one. Ooh, we get the Gideon into a Johnny curve. Haven't had that one yet. Okay, looks like this is a reclamation deck. Oh no, not reclamation. Glad we have this cast down. Right about now. Sure. So am I leading with history or Gideon? History can hit harder, but I do really like plussing Gideon up and getting towards six, like this this minus six exile target non land permanent. I like that a I whole will lot. I defend the weak at every opportunity. I believe in you. Share in my light. Would you like to see what's draw and fight? I'll be All right, back. Alright, so good thing is just like before. We still have like the two tokens that kill Vivian. You should be proud to have come so strength is born of struggle. I will lend you my strength. So much strength. Ha! I've seen worse. Yeah, not I wasn't putting on the, the counters on Gideon just because just in case something happens, I think to Gideon. Meet my newest friend. Crisis. Deliver us to victory. I Why believe in you, friend. So Krasis will just minus six the Gideon and exile the Krasis next turn. Let's do this again. And then is that lethal? Who knows? So nine means X is seven. So they draw three cards that go to 13. They can block. They can block Gideon. And then they're taking 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Exactly lethal.
Oh, yeah, the O3 does have reach. Good point. Yeah, they could have saved Vivian. Good point. So I think Vivian and Nyssa are like their two important cards, right? So I probably want these to Sparks to deal with those. Gideon's just incredible. Let's get another one of those in there. Midnight Reaper doesn't seem as important in this matchup. Doesn't seem like stuff's dying too much. And not sure if like the life link from Soren is really important. I think we need to be able to kill their crises. Let's get in. Let's get in all of our all of our removal that deals with crisis. This is looking kind of clean here. I gotta take out a card though. Be a tithe taker. Yeah, Gideon, real good. Bringing in Liliana against, like, uh, like against control or against like Soul Tie, like some decks like where we, or can go like longer with a couple creatures on the battlefield, kind of thing. We can amass, make real big amass zombies and give them lifelink. Yeah, I've considered having, yeah, Davriel could be nice in this deck. Davriel is like its best against like a hard control deck, like an Esper control. And I, I feel like we're already doing okay there. Thrashing Lebrontodon, huh? Nah, we don't need to kill it. We only have one removal spell. I'd rather save my, from my removal spell for that. A big trample flyer. That I can't deal with. I am here to aid in the assault. Your light will cleave the darkness. So they're going to sacrifice Lebrontodon to dunk on this Dreadhorde invasion or History Banalia. It's kind of messy. Prepare for battle! Attack! Prepare for battle! So 
So why would they not block the lifelink one if they're just planning on sacrificing? I don't know, but thank you. Nah, Grixis didn't do so good for us today. It didn't feel like it was a bad deck or anything. It just it wasn't wasn't Grixis's day. Let's tear this place apart. <laughs> Not bad for a mouse. Share in my light. And we're going to play Seraph. Again. Not again. Just always getting attacked. Uh, record's right over here. Orzov midrange. We are currently 4-0 with the deck. It's looking like 5-0. We'll see what our opponent can do here. Uh, that's 10 life. That is not enough life. Dang, that's awesome. One less fiend to fight. We hadn't we hadn't used that minus six yet, so I had to do that. That was a sweet animation, though. All right, five and zero. Oh. Yeah, deck. Yeah, deck master. Yeah, deck master is not working. It's annoying. Oh yeah, Gideon is really, really good. Yeah, me too. I hope Deckmaster starts working again soon you know it's just brand new set I'm sure like that's why it's down for maintenance right now Ooh. their traditional curve Tithe Taker Midnight Reaper we're on the draw yuck I don't want to be on the draw. The rat row. Rut row. So they get to they can attack or the, yeah they can they can use like an instant like this then they get to attack and recast said instant it does have trample also so blocking doesn't help a ton against trample we would save one life if we block doesn't seem very worth it hey Cobb with the twitch prime sub welcome to the channel Cobb. i've liked the dread horde invasion in this deck so far 
I think it does pair well with I don't know if I should be attacking here, honestly. I think the Dreadhorde invasion does pair well with Gideon and Soren. Well, if we're not going to have any removal, we're not going to win this matchup. They are much more aggressive and degenerate than we are. And Agent Sid, welcome back as well. Sub number 23 on the day. Keep getting those hype boats in the channel. Thank you so much for that resub there, Agent Sid. Hyperion TV, also getting in on the hype. There we go. There's our new subscriber. Thank you so much, Hyperion. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much. So it's 24. We're six away from another goal. You guys are the the ones that allow me to, to be here, do this every day. Um, I, I mean, I, I can't say how much I appreciate it. I... I enjoy streaming so much and uh, like playing magic here, making new decks. That's. I'm seeing if we can get them to play another spell here, targeting like the Dreadhorde Arcanist before I can tempt it. I should have a stop on their main main phase. So if they just go to attacks, yeah, they're trying to go to attacks here. Uh, Lost Cax, maybe. Lossix, you are a rock star. Thank you so much for that sub. Ah, oh, thanks, Joven. Twenty fifth sub of the day. The high boats are out in full force tonight. So we're at nine and a half hours in to our twelve hour stream today. So we're at 10. Let's go double spell. <laughs> they really wanted that scry. Looking for another threat. The good thing about the Tithe Takers is like it's it's hard for them to or maybe they just need that fourth land. Ugh. It's hard for them to I am proud to fight um, by your side. Hmm. To protect their creature against I a removal spell for us. My strength. With these Tithe Takers. Alright, am I going Soren? They all get lifelink? during my turn, or am I going at Johnny and starting to tick up with the Johnny? I think I'm going Soren. Get this lifelink in here. I did not stop this fight, but I will finish it. Peace remains an option. I must succeed where I have <laughs> What failed. a mess I've made. So we got to kind of see if we needed to hit the Ajani or, or not. All right, Lass. Uh, how do I pronounce your name? Uh, Lassix, I think. But, you know, thanks for, you know, uh, 
well, first, I'm glad you found the channel. There we go. Uh, glad you found the channel. And yeah, I'll, I'm going to keep on doing new brews. I mean, as you can see, we're going to have a Soul Tide Vivian after this. We're doing a Jeskai Midrange tomorrow. Um, got a few other decks that have been donated to put together. Let's get this Extra Contempt. Um, Mortifies, Cast Down. Duress is probably awesome. Oath of Kaya. Heck, Liliana, make them sacrifice their creatures. All these things are good. <laughs> How am I supposed to play this deck? They're all good. All right, Midnight Reaper down. Hmm. Probably don't need a Johnny or Dreadhorde Invasion. All right, not Liliana, it's too expensive. Going down to three duress. Oh man, so many brews. I mean, we've basically, you know, built around like one card so far and there's just like, like the whole set is like a, a good card to build around, you know, like there's like basically all the Planeswalkers, maybe not all the uncommon ones. It's kind of crazy. But, you know, like we played a Nicol Bolas Dragon God, and then Domri, and then Niv Mizzet Reborn, and now Gideon Blackblade. And we're just scratching the surface. We haven't even done any green cards. Green cards are my favorite. Yeah, we have dur we have duress. So, drillbit is I think drillbit's a lot better whenever you have more creatures that cost one mana, so you can like you're semi reliably playing a one drop, and then on turn two you're hitting them, and then casting drillbit on turn two. Our deck doesn't really have that kind of curve. Uh, I think duress is just going to rely like just always going to be one mana, and so we just get to have duress whenever uh you know whenever we want we can like double spell with the duress plus something else whether we're hitting our opponent or not you can cast the mortify here just to use more mana keep the two mana removal spell in my hand yeah doing really well doing really well <laughs> Just can't even handle a sword? I don't even, I don't even have anything. We're still 98%. That's not going up very fast. We didn't even, we didn't even move up. Alright, our Orzhov deck is 6-0. I guess we just played until we lose. But then we're not going to have time for Sultai Vivian if we just sit here and play until we lose. So why not give them a chance to play a buff on the zombie wizard before casting it down? Because they play Sheltering Light, which costs a single white mana that gives their creature indestructible. I don't want them to untap to play a pump spell. I use my removal and then they Sheltering Light and save their creature. That would be bad for me. Do some Selesnia tomorrow. You like Selesnia, Gideon? Favorite card? I don't know if I have a favorite card yet. There's just a lot of cards I like. I don't know if I have a favorite. Like, there's just... There's a lot... Yeah, there's... I like a lot of stuff. Oh, I should just mortify... I should just mortify this history, Banalia. So 
sorry, I was I was thinking about that. I, I should just mortify the history Benali instead of just killing this thing. Dang. But yeah, both the Gruul midrange and the Sorzov midrange. We've had a, a lot of success with these two decks. As you can tell, we're 13 and 1 with them, even though this is kind of looking like a 13 and 2 right about now. An elephant? Rough. Mono White was, you know, at the very beginning of the video, I talked about how Mono White was going to be tough for us. If we get behind, we can't catch up. And Mono White just gets ahead. That's what the deck does. It's so good at getting ahead. Well, this is going to be tough for us to win. I need to mortify the history. So even if we get this game two, winning a game three on the draw, it's going to be really tough. Maybe I need like some Lyra Dawnbringer. I have like four Oath of Kaya's because of like, you know, thinking of like mono red. But with mono white, I need more like Lyra Dawnbringer to take over the game. Or settle the wreckage. I need something like that. We haven't been playing against like any control, which is weird. We haven't seen. I I have not played against Esper control the entire day today, which is pretty unreal. So seven, eight. So, yeah, 15 plus 8 is 23, plus 6 is 29. So then this one is our 30th. So our 30th match today with no Esper control. Unfortunate time to draw Gideon. I would have liked to get in the previous turn. <laughs> Thanks, Way. I forgot we got we got to Mythic. Oh yeah, we did. We did that. So I'm killing the elephant here and attacking in to get my opponent on the defensive because we are not going to be good if they are not on the defensive. Wow. The gods bless us in our righteous cause. I believe in you. Can we stop drawing swamps?
Oh, the Steelers did trade up to get a linebacker? Okay. They got... I guess they got one of the Devons. Did they get Devin White or Devin Bush? Yeah. Oh. Ugh. So close. If we just draw cast down, we win. Because we could activate this. We could have killed them with a cast down. Yeah, I guess we should have paid the four. Like, I mean, well, if they were going to do that. You know, didn't know they were going to do that. No, our deck may need, like, Settle the Wreckage or Lyra Dawnbringer for this matchup. That is the... Like, I, I have my... Like, I have the extra Kaya's or, or the extra Oath of Kaya's in the sideboard that are more with Mono Red in mind than Mono White. Hey, Badonk, welcome back. Thank you for that resub here. Keeping the hype going, keeping those emotes afloat. Thanks, Badonk. All right, so Orzhov midrange. Definitely did good for us, so we... All right. Too much Othakaya. Let's get a... Let's take out one Othakaya for a Lyra. We also just kind of have too much... Too many three mana cards like after sideboard with like the Mortify Othakaya. We have all the Mortifies because of, um, you know, because of Wilderness Reclamation. But Despark also gets Wilderness Reclamation also. I think we can take out a Despark. Play two Liras or like one Lyra, one Settle. I think that's what I'm going to try next time. Taking out a Despark and an Othakaya for a Settle and a Lyra. Lyra is kind of expensive, though, you know, against, like, the decks. Like, you can certainly not get to five mana. It's kind of the problem with Lyra. It is expensive. Yeah, Soren works well with Resplendent Angel, yes. But, unfortunately, we have all these other really good three drops, and it's hard to have Resplendent Angel also. Um, Demystify is just too narrow. I think I'll try that the next time. We play it. But there we go. That was Orzhov Midrange. Uh, really good showing. Went six and one. Finally picked up a loss there in the seventh match. Uh, but yeah, it's getting late. Almost 10 hours into the stream. We got one more deck we got to play. So let's go. We got to make this deck too. So let's go ahead and get to that. So if you're watching this video later on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also check out the stream sometime at twitch.tv slash ToddStevensMTG. For those of you on Twitch, the YouTube channel is, of course, youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.